Hey subbies, I'm going to be doing a book review for the book Junie B. Jones is Not a Crook by Barbara Park. This is an absolutely amazing book just as all of Barbara Park's Junie B. Jones series has come to be because they have a wonderful lesson in them and also some absolutely amazing characters filled with personality. Junie B. is no exception. Junie B. gets this wonderful, amazing present from her grandpa, Frank Miller, for no reason whatsoever, which is the best reason ever to get presents in Junie B.'s mind. Because it wasn't Christmas, it wasn't Valentine's Day, it wasn't her birthday. Her grandfather bought her those mittens just because. And Junie B. Jones can't wait to wear them. She puts them on first thing in the morning with her school outfit. And she can't wait to show them to anybody and everybody. She shows them to her best friend at the bus stop. She shows them to everybody on the bus. When she gets to school, she shows them to her classmates and even to her teacher. But the mittens that she has gotten have become a bit of a distraction to Junie B's class and to Junie B's teacher because of how badly she wants to show them off to everybody in the classroom. And they can't get their work done. So that's when Junie B's teacher takes them and puts them on her desk until recess when Junie B. Jones can have them back. Junie B. Jones realizes that it wasn't the best decision to wear an extremely warm coat and her mittens when outside in the sunlight and it's extremely hot out. So Junie B. Jones takes her mittens off and her coat and puts them by a tree. And when the teacher calls her in from recess, she goes back to the tree and finds out that someone has taken her mittens. She demands that somebody call 911 because it's an emergency that her mittens have been stolen. And unfortunately, they're not in the lost and found when Junie B goes to check the lost and found box before Junie B has an absolutely emotional moment when she realizes that Mrs. is taking her to the principal's office and she says her mother will be very upset with her for going to the principal's office because she should never ever go to the principal's office. That's when Mrs. explains to her that the principal's office is also where the lost and found is. But unfortunately, Junie B. Jones gets a surprise that she wasn't expecting when she looks in the lost and found box. I hope you'll enjoy this Junie B. Jones is not a crook book just as much as I did. Junie B. is an absolutely amazing character as all of the wonderful books that Barbara Park writes have been and will be throughout this series. I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my amazing, fantastic, wonderful, fun videos that I have to share with each and every one of you. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I don't want you to miss any of them. I also would love it if you would follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Comedy Creation. I love to share library hauls, book reviews, and some fantastic food photos. Also, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is Comedy Addict. I love to play hashtag games, but what I love even more is interacting with each and every one of you fantastic followers because it means the world to me to see how much my content is appreciated and how much it affects each and every one of you. I also have a new addition to my social media, and that is a Facebook page. My Facebook page is Papa Apple. I would love it if you would give the page a like. I post a countdown for my newest YouTube videos on my Instagram stories and when you click on the remind me option it will turn on a reminder so you will be notified when my newest videos go up. All of my social media will be linked in the description box below as well. I can't wait to see you in the next video subbies. I really hope you enjoyed this book review. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite childhood books are and your favorite books that you can't put down and highly recommend. I'd love to review them next here on my YouTube channel. I can't wait to see you in the next video subbies. Until then, 
Sensational smiles go for miles. Be sure to subscribe and stay a while.